Gus Hansen opens up, up with pocket here. fives. He raises to 2100. Negrano with pocket sixes raises to 5000. Five. Action falls around to Esfandiari with his ace queen. Out of position against Gus and Daniel Negrano. That's exactly what Antonio was thinking about. He's out of position against Gus and Daniel, and he's throwing away Ace Queen. Not going to put in 4,400 more. And Hansen calls the 2,900. Yeah, probably not. Flop comes nine six five. Wow! Oh. Both players have flop sets. Daniel's got three sixes. Gus has got three fives. Gus is going to lose a lot of money in this hand. Only thing that could save him is maybe a seven or an eight coming up and slowing down the action on the turn. The ground about eight thousand dollars. Come over here to go clubbing. You thought I were playing poker? You mean you were the master? Good morning, Dr. Gray. In the middle of this hand, David Gray has showed up and starts to do his dance moves behind Gus. This guy has a cartoon guy. Is this somebody who can do it? Gus is trying to figure out what to do here. He's going to raise. It's a here. That's the right move. You don't want someone coming in here with a hand like 9 8. He raises the $26,000. And Daniel is just going to call. He's going to let a card come off. I like this move by Daniel. Gus is convinced he has the best hand now. Turns another five. Wow. <laughs> Gus has made quads. <laughs> Gus Hansen has quads, and Daniel Negrano has sixes full. Unbelievable. This is trouble. Trouble in River City for Daniel Negrano. The previous hand, I had the queen nine deuce. So I won 21 and I lost four, so I won 17. The other players seem oblivious to what's going on in this hand. Hansen bets 24,000. I think Daniel Legrano is putting Gus Hansen on a hand like 7-5 or 8-5. He's putting Gus Hansen on three fives right now. And he's thinking about how do I extract the most money from Gus Hansen here? Gus is trying to appear as calm as he can with quads. He's not giving anything up. The ground up calls at 24,000. Daniel's slow playing his full house. Daniel thinks he has the best hand. And the river's at eight. Both players like that card. Both players want the other player to make a straight. And Gus checks his quads. Great play by Gus. Now, if Gus did have 7-5, Gus has made a straight here. The main thing is Daniel feels he has the best hand. And there's no reason he shouldn't feel he has the best hand. He's feeling the right amount to bet is $65,000. I'm all in. Huh? I'm all in. How much more is it? That's shocked Daniel. Wow. Count, count, count his. Wasn't expecting it. The pot now stands at about $400,000. Even without Daniel calling, this stands as the biggest pot in the history of high-stakes poker. And if Daniel calls, it'll be almost 600000 Unbelievable. Daniel knows that Gus is a loose player. But I don't think he thinks he's loose enough to make this kind of bet on a bluff. How much? 167 Daniel's got to know that Gus has a hand. What he's trying to figure out is, does it beat his hand? He might have the nuts. You're missing a big pot here, Eli. It's a big pot here. You just raised me 167. It's a big pot. 
I better have something if I'm gonna call, right? Daniel pointing out to together. Ellie and Doyle that something's going on here. Yeah, you think they'd know. Oh, you can do it better. Not a lot of us did. Buddy, this is, if, if, I'm, if I lose this pot, it's a cooler, so can't feel too bad. If I lose this pot, it's a pretty bad cooler. Pocket fives, pocket nines, maybe like pocket eights. Ooh, that'd be sick too. That would be sick. Well, you're right, Daniel, it's one of the above. <laughs> yeah. What else would Gus Hansen be raising you $165,000 with? And Daniel decides to call. Shows in the five. So you had one out. <laughs> you believe you. I believe you. I, I wasn't too happy on the flop. But oh. once the turn came up. Wasn't too happy. Meanwhile, he rakes in a pot over $575,000. You're looking at a man who just lost almost $300,000 cash. Uh. 